How long do you think it would take to build a 57-story building? China's speed has created another miracle. The Chinese engineer known as the infrastructure madman has created a new construction method. It took only 19 days for a 59-story skyscraper to rise. The speed of construction far exceeds that of traditional means, so how did China do it? It turns out that China has adopted self-developed, modular prefabricated building technology, which can build an entire building like building blocks. The traditional means of building construction is to deliver the construction materials to the project site for on-site manufacturing. For example, to build a reinforced concrete residential building, it is necessary to transport a large amount of steel bars and cement to the construction site for processing, and use them to pour layer by layer. The frame of the 59-story building will be used for internal construction before the construction of the entire building can be completed. Although China's current infrastructure strength and technology are very strong, it will take several years to build such a 59-story building. This time, the modular prefabricated building technology developed by China can greatly increase the speed of building construction. In terms of materials, the whole building uses channel steel as beams and columns, and core slabs as floor slabs. Since it does not require reinforced concrete, its structure, walls, windows, electromechanical equipment, etc. are 100% factory-made, and each house is like a block. After the building blocks are assembled in the factory in advance, they can be assembled after being transported to the construction site. In addition to the amazing speed of building the external structure, what is exciting is that the internal layout of the apartment is quite regular. This 113 square meter house has a spacious living room, a clean bathroom, and furniture and appliances. Curtains in other modern homes look warm and beautiful. Watching this, many netizens have questioned whether the building was built so fast without using reinforced concrete, will it collapse when the wind blows it? For security issues, you don't have to worry about it. Although the building columns and beams of this building do not use traditional reinforced concrete, they all use stainless steel cork plate materials. This material is composed of two stainless steel plates sandwiching a thin-walled core tube. The diameter of each core tube ranges from 16 mm to 140 mm, and the thickness ranges from 0.09 mm to 1.5 mm, all of which are welded by hot air brazing over 1,100 degrees Celsius. Moreover, according to the test, the strength and toughness of this stainless steel core plate far exceed that of reinforced concrete, and it is the material with the highest strength and toughness currently used in the construction field. It is strong enough to resist shaking from magnitude 9 earthquakes and typhoons. If there is an earthquake, the building will not collapse like traditional buildings, but will only be in danger of deformation. To some extent, it also reduces the serious disasters caused by earthquakes. If it cooperates with the existing construction technology, the building can be added up to 160 floors. In addition, the service life of the stainless steel core plate is 20 times that of reinforced concrete, and the service life can reach an astonishing 1,000 years. This is definitely an epic-making product, and it is truly human wealth that can be passed on for thousands of years. To build such a high-rise building, only three modules are needed, the core module including elevators and stairs, and the living module and residential module for water, electricity, and electricity. On-site, workers only need to build up the modules, tighten and reinforce the modules with bolts, and then plug in water and electricity. In this way, 10 floors can be built in one day. If you want to increase the height of the floor, you only need to stack up. It is incredible that once the building needs to be demolished or has other needs, the whole building can be demolished and moved to other places. This is the biggest advantage of modular house construction. Building high-rise buildings in this way is not only efficient, 
but also has high value in terms of environmental protection. Adopting modular construction of houses can greatly reduce carbon emissions. Moreover, there is no need to use cement during the construction process, and the air pollution caused by industrial dust has also been controlled to a certain extent. Therefore, from the perspective of the higher goal of carbon neutrality, modular buildings have a lot of room for development. Watch this review of China's modular high-rise building technology and tell us what you think. Enjoy!